All right, good morning, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. Amen. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Y bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Uh, the Lord has uh, given me a good message, so you prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. All those of you that are, are receiving us or coming in from audio, video, we want to welcome you. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. God will make a way of escape. Amen. Sometimes yeah. we find ourselves in trouble, but God always makes a way of escape. Yes, Amen. So praise God. So let him bless you. Let him encourage you. Let him change you and let him correct you. Amen. Yeah. Before we get too, too, too far ahead, uh, I've got a few things I want to read, but uh, grab your swords first. Yeah. And uh, church, say it like you mean it. Amen. Yes. Let's say it. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I love it as I am in Jesus' name. Leave it up there, Carmen. Hallelujah. Those of you in the video can see this. Amen. And uh, this is something that you need to say for yourself uh, daily. And say it boldly. Amen. I boldly confess my mind's alert. You know what the enemy attacks the most? You know you fight a spiritual battle. We're going to be talking about that. But you fight a spiritual battle daily. Amen. So you have to renew your mind. The Bible says we are tribe in spirit, soul, and body. Amen. Amen. So you have to uh, renew your mind. Yes. Amen. You got to feed, first of all, you got to feed your spirit the word yes. of God. Yes. Renew your mind with the word of God and crucify the flesh. Because the flesh is always... Um, <laughs> also wants a way to escape. Oh, always yeah. wants its way. Amen. Yeah. And it just wants to get away. But you know what? Oh, no, not, not read the word again. No, 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 no. Renew your mind because, you yeah. know, the battlefield is the mind. Yeah. And that's where the enemy attacks. So we got to renew our mind, renew our minds. Amen. With the word of God. You know, you, you, you have to stop listening to all those lies the enemy wants to give you. And you don't have to listen or uh, do whatever he's telling you to do. Just stop and say, well, no, that's not what the Word of God says. So I'm going to do what the Word of God says. Yes. I'm going to confess what the Word of God Amen. says. Not, not what the enemy is going to feed you. Amen. Or not what people are telling you. That's why it's so important you know the truth. The truth is going to set you free, not only from the enemy. It's going to set you free from people. Yes. Because people are going to tell you things. And that's not the truth. Right. Amen. And a lot of times they tell you lies because they're jealous of you. Uh -huh. Because you're making an attempt to serve God. Yes. Amen. And you discipline yourself to read. You discipline yourself to make changes. And they're not. Yeah. And they want to take your time. You know, we've talked about dream busters, yeah. mission busters, whatever you want to call these busters that always want to come interrupt <laughs> your day. <Yeah. laughs> they want to take your day away from you. They want yes. to take your smile away yes. and give you their sad uh, news. Amen. Yes. But you know what? You keep on with the good news. Yes. Amen. And and bring the good news everywhere you go, you know, because yes. there's so much sad things going on right now. Yes. But you know, you are the light of the world. Yes. You you bring light wherever you happen to go. Yes. Amen. Yes. So yes. praise God. I've got a few things to read to you before we get started. Praise God. A scripture break goes like this. It says, he's always with you. God's always with you. When you feel alone, remember Christ has promised his presence. He is always with you. Yeah. Do not be afraid. He has not given us a spirit of fear. Right. We're going to be talking about this. So many, yeah. so much fear going on right now. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, know that he is already there. Amen. He will stay with you even if everybody has been going or has gone. Amen. Yes. No matter what, people leave you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just run out on you. Yeah. But you know what? He's always with you. Yes. Amen. So, you know, you're going to find out this from the Word of God mm -hmm. that He's always with you. Yeah. And you know, but the enemy is going to come and do what? Steal, kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. And He's going to make you feel like you're nobody, mm -hmm. like you're no good. You're nothing. Mm -hmm. And He wants you to be lonely. Yeah. But you know, God says, I'm always with you. Yeah. I'm here with you. Yeah. Amen. So this is yeah. this is this is strong. Amen. Uh, Deuteronomy thirty one six says this: Be strong and be of good courage. Mm -hmm. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them, mm -hmm. for the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He is not He is not leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Hebrews thirteen five says the same thing: He'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's 
right. So guess what? <laughs> when you know those things, don't listen to the lies anymore. That's you just right. walk in the word, amen, and stay in the word. Amen. Praise God. So God will make a way of escape. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm blessed already. <laughs> amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Go to the next coming. God will make a way of escape for you. He will open a door of hope. Yeah. Confess your sin and be forgiven. Then wait as planned for the future brightens. Then anything you can imagine begins to open up. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He will make a way for you. Let me. God will make a way in time of your trouble, your trials, your temptations, your trust. And your transgressions. Yes. And you know what? This is the time to know God is with you. Yes. And this is the time that you know God will make a way. Amen. You know, we're, we, we can uh, go back to the uh, Old Testament. And you know, even Noah knew God made a way of escape for him. Well, be, even before Noah, God made a way for us. Yes. Because the Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world. He uh -huh. said his only begotten Son. Yes. And then whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So you don't have to die. You don't have to stay. You know, you can go to heaven. Amen. You can be in heaven with, with him. So God made a way of escape even back then. And Noah, well, he told Noah, um, I want you to build me an ark. Because it's going to rain. It's going to flood. Mm -hmm. So Noah says, what's an ark? <laughs> and he said, oh, what's the flood? <laughs> he didn't know these things. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he was faithful enough to listen. Yeah. We need to be faithful enough to listen to the yes. word of God. Amen. Yes. That's what the Bible says, walk by faith and not by sight. So that's one of our scriptures. Or well, walk by faith and not by fear. Amen. So, ooh, hallelujah. I'm preaching better, better than you ain't mad at me. Come on now. <laughs> so there are giants that we face daily. What about this? What about uh, uh -huh. Moses? God made a way to escape. For his people to go, and they're out in the desert, and the 11 day trip took them 40 years mm -hmm. because of all these nagging, complaining people. You know? And when they get to the Red Sea, <laughs> Moses said, <laughs> What do I do now? <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what do we do now? What do we do on a daily basis? Go to God. Yes. Trust in God. Trust in your yes. God. Amen? He went to God, and God made a way. What did yes, he do? He, he parted a Red Sea. Yes, he did. You know, what seems impossible for men is possible through God. Yes. <laughs> and he parted the Red Sea, and, he, and people walked in and escaped, mm -hmm. made a way of escape. Yes. And they walked through this dry land, amen, yes. and they got to the other side. And the enemy tried to do the same thing and copy. He's always trying to do mm -hmm. the same thing. He tried to copy, and guess what? <laughs> they died, and they drowned. Yes. So... Their way of escape just collapsed. Yes, it did. Amen. There are giants we face on a daily basis. And they come daily. If you don't have any giants, storms, giant financial problems, or whatever giant problem you might have, mm -hmm. if you don't have any of those, then uh, you need to get saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know as long as you're in sin, <laughs> enemy's not going to mess with you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice and easy. Uh -huh. But you try to get out of oh, sin, boy. and the enemy's going to fight you. Oh, yeah. Amen. He's going to fight you. You know why? Because he don't want to lose you. He wants to keep you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you, you're just going to be a loser. Mm -hmm. But you're not a loser. You're an That's overcomer. Right. You're a champion. You're a winner. Amen. So praise God. You know, uh, God made you to be a warrior, mm -hmm. not a worrier. Yeah. And he don't want us to worry about anything. He says, yeah. cast it on me. Yeah. Amen. And we cast it on him. Yeah. But anyway... You fight these giants on a daily basis. And you know what you, the Bible says? Cast it on him. It says, don't let these giants uh, control you. Don't let the enemy control you anymore. Don't listen to his lies anymore. Yeah. Amen. You control him. And what the Bible says in, uh, where is it? Uh, James 4, 7 says what? Therefore, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So you know what? He tries to, the, the battlefield of mind. The enemy tries to put lies in there. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you don't have to listen to those anymore. Right. Amen. You don't have to get to, to that anymore and say, wait a minute. That's totally against what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. So I'm not receiving that. That's right. Resist. I'm resisting you, Satan. Yes, that's it. You leave in Jesus' name yes. right now. 
I'm taking authority over you. That's what yeah. we need to do. That's what getting in the word is, is yeah. taking authority yes. and speaking that authority. Let yes. it come out of you. Amen. Yes. So yes. praise yes. God. Yes. Resist him and he will flee yes. from you. Yes. Woo. Come on now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> praise God. And this is a big thing right here. If you don't know this, you write it down, put it down somewhere. You know, wherever you work, wherever you sit, wherever you happen to be, magnify God mm -hmm. and not your problem. Amen. You know, we got it reversed. And we're always magnifying the world. We're always magnifying uh, the problems and not God. We got right. it backwards. We need to write this down so we can get it in us. Amen. Amen. Remember the mind, <laughs> the battlefield. Mm -hmm. and you got to get it in you. Yes. And read it, confess it. You know, when you're, when you're alone, just confess the word. I was, mm -hmm. You know, out loud. Say it to yourself. Read it to yes. yourself. You know, yes. nobody else is there but you and God. Yes. Amen. And you need to get it in you so you can hear it. Amen. And you hear it and it goes back in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. This is, this is good. Come on now. Take it here. <laughs> God. God is bigger than any problem. God is bigger than any care. God is bigger than any troubles yes. or any giants you might right. be facing now. Amen. Yes. You know. Uh, if you if you get in the word, you find out all these testimonies, awesome testimonies of people of how God delivered these people. And you once you once you know the truth is going to set you free. Yes. And you know what? He's no respecter of persons. He'll do it for you also. But you know, if you're hanging out with them losers, if you're hanging out with uh -huh. them dream busters, right. mission busters, you know yeah. they're going to say, "Well, God uh, is no no longer doing those things." Yeah. You know. He's not going to do that for you, you know. Mm -hmm. Plus, you've done wrong, so he don't want, he don't hear you anymore. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Uh -huh. It's wrong. It's yeah. wrong. It's wrong. Don't listen to that. That's God right. is a good God. Amen. Yes, he is. Woo. Come on. Good. <laughs> Amen. I have a good couple good of more God. things to read today. Amen. We're talking about a big God. Yes. You can write these down. Right. God is bigger than. Yeah. Your past. Yes. Your past. Don't let your past hold you prisoner. The past is gone. Amen. Today is a new day. Yes. Amen. St. Corinthians 5.17 says, The old is gone, the new is in. Yes. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new person in Christ. You know, those people around you, those people that see you, mm -hmm. they may see the same person, but inside, I had a spiritual birth. Amen. And I'm a new creature in Christ, amen. And I'm, I'm going to get the word in me so I can start confessing the word and saying the word. And they're going to say, well, you look like the same person, but you're saying the different things. Mm -hmm. You look like the same person, but you're not hanging out and saying those negative things. That's right. I'm a new creature in Christ. Right. So he's bigger than your past. He's bigger than your fears. Amen. Everybody is, oh, so fearful. Coronavirus. So what? You know, God is bigger. Forget about your fears, amen? He's bigger than your sickness. Whatever sickness you have, you know, this. Just, just know that the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you were healed. So whatever sickness you have has a name. And, you know, every name cast about to the name of Jesus. So in Jesus' name, you know, cancer, I cancel your assignment against this body. Amen. So body resist. Body be healed. Body by Jesus Christ you're healed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He's bigger than your depression. Mm. Whatever you're going through. You know, right. we get all depressed listening to all these bad news. Mm. If you tune in to anything, media, TV, whatever, whatever, newspapers, magazines, mm -hmm. it's all negative. You know, we gotta be positive in this negative world. And you're not going to be positive in this day of the world if you listen, keep listening to the same things over and over. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let go of this depression. Mm -hmm. Don't let it hold you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Confess the word. Get away from it. Amen. Yeah. He's bigger than your pain, whatever pain you're going through. <laughs> you know, touch that uh, shoulder, touch that uh, elbow, touch that uh, an ankle, and say, yeah. by Jesus Christ, you're healed. I call you real. Amen. Be healed yeah. in Jesus' name. It's bigger than hate. You know, you try to love on people and they just want to be rude and cruel oh, and, yeah. and hateful. Uh -huh. You know, you got to have the love and compassion of God in you. Amen. Amen. If you're not doing it God's way, <laughs> it's hell out there. Yeah. Amen. 
and uh, you, it's a spiritual battle. And if you're in the flesh and you get in the flesh, all you're gonna have to do is all you all you have is is a, a fighting going on, mm -hmm. and uh, two negatives don't make it right. That's right. So the best thing for you to do is copy what Jesus did and mm -hmm. copy that the Word of God says and do what the Word of God says. You know, imitate Him, yes. confess the Word, and then yeah. whoo, come on in. Amen. He's bigger than your anger. <laughs> yes. You being angry ain't gonna change anything. That's right. Amen. Give it to God. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus had opportunities to just bust out, but He held it in. He held His anger in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Oh, you're bigger than your anger, bigger than your doubt, bigger than your shame. God is bigger yes, than is. this world or anything coming against against you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that was just a, a quick thing. Amen. Some quick uh, nuggets I want to read to you. Hmm. Hallelujah. It says, that, don't worry. God is never by mm. through your tears. Hmm. God is never deaf to your prayers. And he's never silent to your pain. He right. sees, he hears, and he delivers. Amen. Amen. But you know, when we get in these things, and we start listening to the wrong things, the wrong crowds, hanging out with the wrong places, and the wrong places, wrong crowds. Yeah. It's time that we get in the Word and find out what the Word of God says. Yeah. I can't say that enough. You know, we we, we have to be students of the Word. We got to be studying, st yeah. studious. <laughs> yeah. If that's a word. <laughs> yes, it is. Praise God. Jesus faced a few storms. Noah faced a few storms. Moses, Job. Joseph, David, and you know, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. None of these people God used before were perfect. That's right. So if you're waiting to be perfect for God to use you, He'll never use you. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for people that are available. Amen. I can do all things through Christ, all things. who strengthens me. Amen. Lord, I'm available for you to use me, Lord. Yes. You know, when you make yourself available. He'll use you. Yes. You know, get get the right attitude. Get a winning attitude. Get a champion's attitude. You know, just let go of that losing attitude. Amen. Get away from it. Sickness storms, coronavirus, coronavirus storms, <laughs> family storms, health storms, financial storms, uh, eviction storms, marital storms. People storms, rude, hateful, jealous, oh, unloving, un unlikable, and unforgiving. You've been around a few folks like that? Oh, yeah. On a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And you know, give yourself a spiritual bath all the time with the mm -hmm. Word of God. If you don't bathe yourself, give yourself a good spiritual bath mm -hmm. all the time with the Word of God, <laughs> you're going to lose and you're going to yeah. be just like that. Yeah. Amen. So just know. That you can do all things through him. All God will make a way of escape. Yes, he will. With God, you're in control. Without God, you're out of control. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Without God, it's hell out there. That's it. That's Amen. It. Just know. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. Can't, can't say it any 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 better than that. We'll your that. words, your actions, your thoughts mm -hmm. will make you or break you. That's right. Amen. Already, <laughs> the word of God tells us how to speak. Yeah. Amen. Confess the word. Amen. Yes. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Death and life are in the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Amen. So nobody else. You can't blame nobody else but you. Right. Because you've been speaking those words and you're reaping what you sow. Yeah. Amen. You sow seeds yeah. and you grow. If you plant tomatoes, you're going to grow tomatoes. Yes. If you plant peppers, you're going to grow peppers. Yes, right. But you planted them. So mm -hmm. whatever negative things you've been saying mm -hmm. are going to grow in this garden that you have. All right. In your garden, not nobody else's. You might have told them and they hurt you, but you planted them in your garden, in your life. And it's going to come out in your life. And it's going to take effect, yeah. affect your life, not theirs. Amen. It's just like taking poison and expecting them to drop dead. So <laughs> that's not good. Confess the right things. Keep a positive attitude, a positive confession. Sow the right words. Let your say-sos be according to the word of God daily. Amen. 
Last week we talked about speaking faith-filled yeah. words. Amen. Yeah. We got to speak faith-filled words to yes. frame our life. Yes. You know, on a daily basis, we frame this life. Yes, Amen. And if you're confessing faith-filled words, guess what? You're doing good. Uh -huh. But if you're speaking negative things, it's not good. That's because right. whatever negative things you say, the enemy is holding it against you. Yeah, yeah. Whatever negative things you say, people around you are going to hold it against you. And they're going to say, well, I thought you was a Christian. Why are you going around saying those things? Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the only time they'll say anything. Uh -huh. Stay in control. Feed your spirit. Renew your mind. Crucify the uh -huh. flesh. You know, the flesh, if you operate in the flesh, uh -huh. it's very easy to know that because you do all these little nice, easy things. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you're operating in the spirit, you're going against yeah. the world. You're going against the enemy. Amen. When you renew your mind, you're, you're having to plow down and get rid of all these yeah. negative things that are there, you know? I, I still know all these negative things. I still know all the bad things I've done, but he forgave me. And I still know all these negative words. I still know all these cuss words. But I put a guard over my mouth. I say, uh-uh, it ain't coming out. I'm not saying it. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, come on now, preach to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in faith, not fear. Right. Trust him. Aim to please him yeah. and not man. Aim to please him and not this world. You know, hey, I ain't gonna hang around with you if I gotta go around just trying to please you. You don't uh -huh. you don't have to please man. Please God. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. That's what he wants. And be available to him. Uh, Hebrews eleven one says what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence yes. of things not, not seen. seen. That's it. And Hebrews eleven six says what? Without faith, Without it is impossible. Faith. Yeah. To please God. That's right. So on a daily basis, as you meet with Him, mm -hmm. you step out into this world in faith. Amen. Step out in faith, knowing God is with you. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. John uh, sixteen thirty three says, "I have told you these things mm -hmm. so that you, so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble." He's already telling us mm -hmm. you're going to have troubles, but guess what? But take heart. I have overcome the world. Yes. So why do we copy him? Why do we imitate him? Mm -hmm. Because we can overcome the world. Yes, yes. Amen. Don't let the world overtake you. You overtake the world. Amen. Because we're overcomers according to the word of God. Yes. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. One of my favorite scriptures says, Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. No, all. Oh, <laughs> Trust the Lord with all of your heart. Your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. Mm -hmm. In some ways, submit in all ways. Oh, says in all, all ways. See, I can just give you whatever. <laughs> in all ways, submit to him, and he will make a path straight. Mm -hmm. Amen. He'll make a path straight. He'll did it, he did it for all these people in the Old Testament, New yes. Testament. He'll, he'll do it for us. Yes, he will. Which, you know, when you got born again, you're a child of God. Yes. We're going around beating yourself and calling yourself a sinner. Mm -hmm. You're a child of God. Yes. He's my heavenly father. Heavenly father has what? A father has what? Children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're his children. Mm -hmm. We've accepted him as our heavenly father. Yes. We've confessed that. And now we're his children. Yes. We do wrong, say wrong things, but we confess yes. and get it out. Thank you, Lord. And he's going to do what? Forgive us. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. Psalms 20, uh, 37, 23 says the steps of a good man, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord uh -huh. and he delights in his ways. Yes. Amen. Woo, come Amen. on now. <laughs> Thank you, He's going to make a way of escape. Yes, he will. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord yes. and he delights in his ways. The Amplified says, the steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he delights in the way and blesses his path. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be on God's way, I mean God's side. As a matter of fact, we're in God's, when you got born again, you're on God's side. You're on the winning team. Amen. You're not on the losing team, you're on the winning team. But you have to go around confessing these things and reminding yourself and renewing your relationship on a daily basis. Just spending time with him. Having, having relationship grows you. It says, draw close to me and I'll draw close to you. Amen. 
He said, I nod, but you got to let me in. We got to have a relationship. When you have a relationship with him, guess what? I'm strong in him and in the power of his might. Amen. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Proverbs 24, 16, the Amplified says, For a righteous man falls seven times, but he rises again, but the wicked stumble in time of disaster and collapse. So guess what? So you've fallen. So what? It's time to get up again. Get yourself up and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember Jonah? <laughs> he was in the belly of the whale. And he fell. <laughs> but you know what? God, he says, okay, Lord, I'll do what I'll repent. I'll do what you want me to do. And he went and fulfilled what God wanted him to do. He wanted to go to Nineveh and preach the word of God. He may be calling on you to go somewhere and say something and you're still fighting and you're still resisting it. Mm. It's time that you do. The Bible says you can do all, all things things. through Christ who strengthens yes. you. Yes. He didn't pick the wrong person. He picked no. the right person. That's right. And you got to remember that and you got to see that and see yourself strong in him. Yeah. You know, <laughs> be like David. You know, we have opportunities to go against Goliath on a daily basis mm -hmm. and we're resisting mm -hmm. and we're being afraid. We say, wait a minute. God is there. David says, he saw me. He was there with me when I fought the bear. He was there when I, when I fought the lion. Mm -hmm. And God's going to be with me when I take down this giant. Yes. So those take down those daily giants that come against you. <laughs> whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. But have that David type attitude. Have a winning attitude. Amen. Yes. He made us to be winners, not losers. Amen. That's right. Just see yourself that way. If somebody told you different, then throw it away. That's right. <laughs> a way out of the storm and problems, they all we all have uh, comes to uh, the all saved or all saved and unsaved. Mm. It comes to everybody. Yeah. What you do is different. Mm. I mean, how do you react is different. Mm. You know, as a good soldier of God, you stay battle ready. You stay connected, <laughs> but you're always ready for whatever comes your way. And the enemy is going to see to it that he's going to come against you. Mm -hmm. But you're ready. I'm ready for battle on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Amen. Come on now. That's right. If you will trust God and keep him uh, moving in uh, faith, trust me, even when you may not see the way or the end, but I know God is with me. Remember? He's with me all the time. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. I know, Lord, that you're with me. So we're going to see, he's going to see me through. Yes. Amen. He's going to see me through. He saw me through the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. He saw you through the walls of Jericho coming down. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, so he's going to see you through whatever wall mm -hmm. you need to go through. Yes. Amen. I see the end, you know, but you might see uh, whatever problem is facing you and you don't see the end. But mm -hmm. I know God is with me. Yes. And the end is coming through this, this, yes. this problem. Amen. <laughs> I'm an overcomer. Amen. I'm an overcomer. I can do all things through him. Yes. Things may not be seem clear. Whatever may be on, on your way yes. or blocking your way, God will make a way of escape. Yes, he will. Even when there seems to be mm -hmm. no way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Standing on this side of the Red Sea, mm -hmm. all the other all the way to the other side. You may not even see the, 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 the shores on the other side. Mm -hmm. You may not even see it all the way mm -hmm. across. But guess what? I know, Lord, that you're going to make a way. Mm -hmm. He made a way for a lot of his people. Yes. And he's going to make a way for you. Amen. And, then, and he's no respect to the person. So That's don't right. say, well, you know, this time he forgot about me. No, he's never forgot about you. That's right. you, <laughs> you forgot about your God. Mm. We, we can't forget about our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs 4, 18 and 19 says, The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, mm -hmm. shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Yes. But the way of the wicked is a deep dark. They do not know what makes them stumble. So mm -hmm. one day we must uh, stand before our God. Amen. Yes. One day we must stand before him and say thank you Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you Lord. <laughs> Come on. Praise God. Yes. Thank you Lord. Amen. Again, don't worry. Don't be anxious. Be patient. Yes. In Philippians 4, 6 and 7 one of my favorite scriptures says what? Be anxious for what? Nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through.
Christ Jesus. Amen. So be anxious for nothing. I don't know what you're facing right now. Amen. And I know I'm talking to a lot of you. Whatever you're facing, whatever you may be facing, just let it go and give it to God. You know why he hasn't done anything about it? Because you haven't released it. Amen. You haven't released it. You know, <laughs> it's funny, but I've told you this so many times. When you go to throw your trash in the dumpster, mm. you, you release it. Mm -hmm. You let it go, and you never go back for it. That's right. You let it go. When you go through the throne of God, mm -hmm. just leave it at the throne. Yes. Leave it there, and don't take it back. Amen. Why? Because I know that yeah. he's going to do something about it. Yeah. I know that he cares. I know he loves me. Mm -hmm. And I can go to my heavenly father and do these things. Yeah. So whatever you have, you know, may be hard on you, but it's not hard on him. That's right. May be impossible for you, mm -hmm. but it's possible for, with him. With him, all things are possible. You know what impossible means? Mm. <laughs> I am possible. I mm. am possible. Oh, wow. So I can do all things to yes. him. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Be patient. No. God, what God is doing, trust him. Yes. He knows what is best for you. Yes, he does. And he can see the end results. Mm -hmm. You can. Mm -hmm. So you got to have faith mm -hmm. and leave it there and release it. Don't, let, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we, we just uh, want to pray and want instant everything. Mm -hmm. Just like the world, you know. <laughs> you can go to a drive through and instant whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's his timing. Mm -hmm. And we have to know this. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. It may, it may have done it different for somebody else. But for you, it's going to work it different. Mm -hmm. And whatever his timing is, just be patient. Yes. Amen. Be patient. Yes. God will make a way of escape. Yes, he will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, he As you will. study the history of Israel, you will find out God always made a way for them. Uh, he made a way for them to get out of Egypt. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. God chose Moses. Mm -hmm. God has chosen you. Mm -hmm. Moses says, you picked the wrong person. Mm -hmm. And you said, Lord, you picked the wrong person. I don't have education. I don't have what it takes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you pick somebody else, and we're always helping God, he said, mm -hmm. if you pick so-and-so, if you pick this person, that man, that woman, you know, you'd be a whole lot better. No. Because I don't have what it takes. <laughs> you telling somebody, you telling God, the one that knows all about you. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, but we're always trying to help him out. He made a way <laughs> to cross the Red Sea. Yeah. He made a way for them to cross, uh, crossing the wilderness. He made a way for them to go into the promised land. Yes. He made a way for Jesus when he came, John 3.16, mm -hmm. born of a virgin. Amen. He made a way for Paul and Silas. He rescued them. Yes. They've been beaten in a, in a, in, in a dungeon. Mm. You know, a place where they could say, well, you know, this is, you know, you, when you're in prison, it's not a place to, to, to shout. It's not a place to, to just <laughs> praise God. For sure. You know? Mm. But you know, the prison didn't have them. That's right. Amen. They were still walking in love and compassion of God. Mm -hmm. And when they should have been sad and complaining about, Lord, we're doing for you and look where we ended up. Mm -hmm. You know? No. No? They started praising God. You know, yeah. whatever your situation may be, if nothing else, if you don't know what else to do, mm -hmm. start praising Him. Yes. And they started praising yes. God. Yes, they did. And He showed up yes, and delivered did. them. He made a way of escape. Yes. Amen. And he'll make a way of escape for you. Yes. Amen. So, whatever it is, let it go. Yes. But you know what? Get right with God. Yes. If you never have Jesus in your heart, now's the time. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Have Jesus come into your heart, be your Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. He made a way for Job. You know, Job had a lot of things. <laughs> he had a lovely family. He had a, lovely, a lot of friends. Mm -mm. And they all told him the wrong things to do. But he stayed faithful to his God. And God rewarded him yes, he did. for all the things he lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. For all the things he lost. God was with Job. He made a way for Daniel. <laughs> Throw him into the lion's den. You know, them lions was hungry. 
but they never opened their jaws or their mouth to try to eat Daniel because God made a way of escape for you. Amen. So he knows your situation, believe me. Don't don't think it's just a, a, a situation that nobody else has been in. Yeah. Your situation can go. Yeah, God, God's got a way for you. Yeah, yeah. He made a way for uh, Joseph from slavery, the second in command in Egypt. He made everywhere Joseph went. He was raised. He was promoted. You people might be trying to hold you down. It's bad enough you're trying to hold yourself down. Yeah. <laughs> but don't let people hold you down. Mm. Amen. Just trust your God. And you know when you trust your God, he'll make a way of escape. Yes, he and he'll promote you. Amen. Amen. To where you need to be. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> he made a way for Lot. He made a way of escape out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. Amen. He says, go. He says, don't look back. Mm. Let go of your past. Mm. Don't, don't worry about what's behind you. Keep going <laughs> forward. Mm. He made a way for David over Goliath. From a shepherd to a king. Mm. Amen. This is you. Amen. See yourself this way. You know, God loves you and God knows you. Yes. He knows all the bad things you've done. And guess what? Nobody's going to love you more than God does. Yes, so it's about time you turn your life around and say, Lord, yes. I, I need you. I need you now more than ever before. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. You made a way for Solomon, I mean, excuse me, for uh, Shab. Meshach and Abednego. Yes, Shadrach, Meshach. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even though they threw them and tried to get rid of them, God yeah. made a way of escape. They escaped the fiery furnace. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Lord. He made a way for them. And we, he can make a way for us. Yes. Amen. The God we serve, we serve is bigger. Than anything yes. you may be facing. Amen. I'm not going to take this any further. I'm just going to let you know that God has great plans for you. Let me yes. read this to you. Jeremiah 29 11 in the NIV. For I know the plans I have for you. Uh -huh. You know what it says you? Just put your name uh -huh. in. Because he's talking about you. Mm -hmm. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you. What it says yes. you, put your name there. Scratch. You know, yeah. you have, we haven't said this in a while, but you take your Bible and uh -huh. you can scratch, <laughs> write on it, yeah. highlight it, do what you want, make notes in it. You know, if you can't do that, you know, just throw it away and get you an old one or something, you know. But <laughs> highlight it, personalize it. Uh -huh. Amen. He says, plans to prosper you yeah. and not to harm you. Right. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Uh -huh. None of God's plan include defeat. That's it. However, the enemy plans for you include steal, kill, destroy. Jesus' plans are that you might live, have life and life more abundantly. Yes. Amen. Lord. And I'll close with this. He has called you, anointed you, equipped you, and gifted you yes, with yes. everything needed to complete your mission. Amen. Keep yourself stirred up on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Amen. And there's no way to heaven except through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we've talked about this all the time. Mm -hmm. Jesus says in John 14.6 that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except yes. through me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise Thank God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So, if you're watching yes. you, and you never accepted Christ before, it's time to do. Amen. You know, and you didn't tune in by audio or video, whatever you, you happen to be watching or listening to. You didn't tune in by accident. That's right. Amen. God wanted you to hear this. Amen. And He wants you to know that you are special to Him. Yes. And you make yourself available to him. Amen. And he wants to help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants you to let you have life and life more abundant. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he wants to make a way of escape, whatever's coming against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And all you have to do is say, Lord, I failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. 
Yes. Amen. And change me. And you know what? You start changing. You start reading the word, yes. going to church, and hanging around the right people, yes. and confessing the right things. Yes. And guess what? God's going to use you. God wants to use you. Amen. All you have to do is make yourself available to him. Praise God. In closing, be strong in the Lord. Know God will make a way. Yes. In uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 10, 13, which is our text. <laughs> the only temptation that you have are the same temptations that all people have. Huh. But you can trust God. He will not let you be tempted more than you can bear. But when you are tempted, God will also make a way to escape that temptation. Yes. Then you will be able to endure it. Amen. Mm. He's made a way of escape. God has made a way of escape. You don't have to be in bondage. You don't have to be a slave to that. Amen. You can. God has made a way of escape. So you can escape that. Just receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise God. And know that he is with you. Praise God. If you uh, need a touch of healing, whatever is hurting you, whatever is ailing you, all you have to do is 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 say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that by your stripes I am healed. Yes. Body line up with the word of God mm -hmm. and anything coming against this body. Yes. By Jesus' stripes I am healed. Yes. Amen. I cancel yes. every assignment of sickness coming yes. against you, against your body right now in Jesus' yes. name. <laughs> Cancer, coronavirus, you have mm -hmm. a name, you'll bow to the yes. name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Father, for touching yes. and healing those people listening right now. Yes. And we thank you and we praise you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise Amen. God. I preach myself happy. Amen. I don't know about you, but uh, if you're mad, then uh, you had an opportunity to get saved. <laughs> <laughs> <Praise> you <laughs> need to get saved. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So now we just want to, it's a time to give. Amen. Giving time. Those yes. of you that are watching Amen. and listening that would like to give, your tithe, your offerings, you can still do so. We thank you yes. for helping us during this time. Amen. <laughs> and you can go to our website. It's on the screen. NBCBigBen.com and just hit that donate button there. If you're mailing it, just go to NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. Praise God. Thank, thank you, you, Father. So Stretch your hands here. Father, we thank just you thank you for the opportunity thank to give, Lord. Lord. Yes, thank Lord. you to you rebuke the devour for our sake, and you open the windows of heaven, and pour out a blessing on us we're not able to receive it in review in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.